Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Right, express 1 minus root 3 over 1 plus root 3 in the form a root 3 minus b, where a and b is an element of a. OK, so the key to this one or the theory that you have to remember is you must rationalize the denominator. OK, you're not allowed to divide by irrational numbers in maths, so therefore you must change the denominator so that it's a rational number and you will make it rational if you multiply it by kind of like the conjugate of the bottom. So what we do is we change the sign in front of the irrational element. So instead of a plus, it's a minus in this one. What we do to the bottom, we must also do to the top. The reason we do that is that number means you're essentially multiplying by one. Any number over itself is one. Okay, five over five is one. One minus root three over one minus root three is one. And you know, when you multiply anything by one, you don't really change it. OK, so we need to multiply. So we get 1 by 1 is 1. 1 by minus root 3 is minus root 3. Minus root 3 by 1 is minus root 3. And then minus by minus is a plus. Root 3 by root 3 is the square root of 9, which is 3. OK, and on the bottom, 1 by 1 is again one. One by minus root three is minus root three. Plus root three by one is plus root three. And plus root three by minus root three is minus root nine again, or minus three. Okay, so if we tidy that up, on the top we have one plus three is four, and we have minus root three minus root three, so we've minus two root threes. And on the bottom, your thirds cancel. That's exactly what you need to happen. This is why we rationalize. This is why we do this, okay? Because it gets rid of the thirds and we're left with just rational numbers, okay? When you multiply a number by its opposite sign or its conjugate, it gets rid of this bit in the middle. OK, so we end up with 1 minus 3, which is minus 2. OK, so to tidy this up, you put each part over the minus 2. So I'll end up with 4 over minus 2, minus 2 root 3 over minus 2. OK, so 4 over minus 2 is minus 2. We have minus over minus here, which is plus, and the twos cancel, and we end up with root three. Okay, so that is in fact your answer. You compare it with what you were asked, and you were asked to give your answer in the form a root three minus b. So I need to write the third bit first. So I can write it as one root three if you wish, and there's my a minus two. Okay, so that is the answer that they wanted it in, or I suppose the format that they wanted it in. So A is one, there's my root three, there's my B. Okay, but the key to these ones, you have to rationalize the denominator when you're asked to do a cert. If you've enjoyed this video, then why not join us in IT Sligo and use maths in practice? In conjunction with industry, we've designed an exciting new program in electronics and self-driving technologies which uses cutting edge techniques such as artificial intelligence, computer vision and virtual and augmented reality. You'll need a H5 in maths to qualify. Check out the link below.